What is going on everyone? Auto Endeavors here coming back at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be discussing the Ford Maverick and how it is very different from its previous counterpart, the Ford Maverick car. So the brand new Ford Maverick has been revealed from Ford and they have spared no expense with releasing this vehicle. Now the Ford Maverick, if you are old enough to remember, used to be a very different vehicle and a very different beast altogether. As you can see on your screen, the Ford Maverick used to be a car. It was a two-door coupe that was kind of sporty, but not quite a Ford Mustang. It was very much an everyday man's car that they just simply bought for the bachelor life, basically. This was not a family hauler. This was not very practical for hauling around a family of four or more. And so Ford offered this car way back in the day at a lower price point and the ability for just whoever needed a car to get a car. And so Ford decided to bring back the Maverick name, and this time they decided to go a completely different route with the Ford Maverick pickup truck. Now this is very different, but it's very similar, and I wanna talk about why it is similar and why it's different. So differences are obviously, this is a pickup truck, and the old version was a car. Now the differences are very different, but they're also somewhat the same. The reason they are similar is because the time frame at which they are being released. So when the original Ford Maverick was released, the vehicle was meant for just your average single man or woman who needed a vehicle to get around from point A to point B. That was a need that was needed back in the day, but now as the time has moved on, Competition has grown stronger, and so you have to offer more specific things than just simply a vehicle to get you around town. And so Ford decided to introduce the Ford Maverick. Now the Ford Maverick is similar in that it fits, again, the everyday common person. More and more every day, people are finding it very useful to have a pickup truck in their vehicles that they own. Now some people, that's the only vehicle they own. Some people just simply have a pickup truck as a second vehicle. but this vehicle particularly is going to fit that niche perfectly in that it's going to serve both roles. People are going to be able to purchase this vehicle and have it as their sole vehicle, and it's very similar to just an average car, but it does have that added ability to put stuff into the bed, not worry about getting the bed dirty or what have you. And so you'll be able to use this vehicle when you need it as a truck, but for 99% of the time and most everyday use, it'll also serve the purpose of just your average everyday car. And this vehicle is meant very much so, again, just like it was back in the day, for the individual who lives alone or perhaps does not have a large family to support or a large house with a lot of land and things of that nature. So this vehicle is meant for the individual who is just kind of on their own, maybe just starting life, maybe just bought a house but doesn't have a family, whatever the case may be, this vehicle will serve that niche very well. Moving on to the Ford website, we're going to take a look at the Maverick page and see exactly who they are marketing this vehicle to. And I guarantee it's going to be very similar to the old ad of yesteryear for the old Maverick. So looking at the new Maverick first, we're going to see, as we can see here, they have some people, some friends getting together, helping another friend, you know, buy some plants that they can put in the back of their house, probably for their apartment and or home that they own. As we can see here, perhaps someone's going to the lake and wants to bring an inner tube and a cooler and things like that. So they just throw it in the bed and they head on out. As you can see here, there is a band of sorts and they just load up their speakers and equipment in the bed, which is not too terribly heavy and they're able to go from venue to venue performing their musical abilities. As you can see here, it shows that the Maverick has the technology that everyone needs and desires in a vehicle, so it's going to be very similar to the Toyota Camry and the Honda Accord as far as the technology that is offered. Now moving down, they obviously have the different trim models depending on where you stand, the Lariat, the XLT, and the XL. So that's pretty basic and pretty standard on their pickup trucks that they offer. And moving on, 
They offer multiple powertrains depending on your needs. So they have the full hybrid engine and they also have the EcoBoost engine. They also offer this vehicle in front wheel drive or all wheel drive depending on your needs. So this vehicle will fit the needs of the everyday average person very well. As we are moving on, we can also see the interior is very luxurious, which is comparable to many different sedans and cars on the road today in that many of your average basic cars are not like the cars of old where they were very basic on the inside and the outside. Instead, they are very luxurious on the inside and that is what a lot of people are chasing these days when they are searching for the vehicle that they want to purchase for their everyday use. And so Ford here has some photos and some different things they kind of showcase. As you can see here, you can store your water bottles, which are very popular amongst young single individuals. They carry around their water bottles every day because they drink lots of water throughout the day and things of that nature. As you can see here, it shows Ford has done everything they can to make this very much friendly as far as storage capabilities and abilities to add in stuff and take stuff out as needed. As far as your audio and infotainment center, they offer a very extensive and very luxurious sound system as well as technology package in the dash for your everyday use. And they showcase some more instances where you might need a pickup truck, but these two individuals standing right here in this ad, as you can see, most likely don't use this truck every day for hard work. They simply just are purchasing, you know, new shelves or something like that, and they just throw it in the bed. How many times have you gone to a warehouse or a Home Depot of sorts and seen people trying to figure out how to fit large items in their compact sedan? Many times they try and many times they fail. So this vehicle is definitely being marketed to the average everyday man. As you can see here, they showcase pictures of the truck with things in the bed that are not too heavy, but are very much more cumbersome than your average everyday sedan can adapt to. Moving on, we show that this truck is capable, even given its size and small engine capacity, it does have the ability to tow up to 4,000 pounds, which is very decent and very average and low for the working man, but good enough for the average, average, average everyday man or woman. And so that's definitely something that Ford is really going after and they're really trying to kind of promote in this vehicle offering is that this vehicle is not just a basic truck that serves no purpose. It serves a specific purpose and Ford is really marketing this to a specific clientele. So with that being said, we can see here that the Ford Maverick original ad does a lot of the same things that the new ad is doing in that it is being advertised to the everyday average common man as far as what it offers and what its abilities are. So Ford really did a smart move in deciding to name the pickup truck the Maverick. A lot of people give it a lot of hate, but they're smart and they have people in their marketing department that knows what's going to sell and what's going to be marketable the best. And so the Maverick is a very different vehicle today than it was prior. However, it fills a lot of the same need as it previously did long ago back in the day. So overall, let me know what you think of the new Ford Maverick down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the matter. Be sure to hit that like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And until next time, we'll see y'all.